a 70 year old woman comes and she is recently been admitted uh, after her son informed the doctor that she had been doing very poorly and the patient reports a 30 pound weight loss also she has decreased concentration and feelings of helplessness and hopelessness both and she has decreased energy and depressed mood and also decreased sleep now what do you get out of this case that uh, mood disorder she's she's of course having a mood disorder and uh, she has been uh, presenting with such symptoms for at least a week and uh, the symptoms that are ranging from the change in the pre patient's previous level of functioning and uh, to the depressed mood or even anhedonia which means the lack of interest in the things in which the patient uh, previously uh, filled uh, enthusiasm or joy now the risk factors for such depression or a major depressive disorder or we also call it unipolar depressive disorder or major depression clinical depression is seen more uh, seen more frequently in women and due to several factors just like uh, hormonal differences and great stress and simply a bias in diagnosis uh, in certain cases and the typical age of onset is 40 years now it has been rec uh, recorded that the statistics show that the uh, the incidence of such a clinical entity is increasing in the age group uh, of late adolescents and uh, uh, early young adults so it has been increasing in that population as well but the gender bias still remains the same that it about like two to one when you compare females to females to uh, males uh, there is also a higher incidence in those who have no close interpersonal relationships or are divorced or separated and many studies have reported abnormalities in serotonin norepinephrine and dopamine now out of these the most important one is serotonin and norepinephrine because norep nor norepinephrine when it's decreased it causes lethargy and anhedonia because its normal functions are attention causing attention and uh, also uh, concentration and uh, activity uh, but we, when we talk about serotonin, its normal functions are those of uh, like uh, because its deficiency actually causes symptoms of uh, belligerence and irritability and also societal ideation. So uh, when it's normal, uh, it causes patients to be uh, uh, joyful and they respond c c uh, congruently when there are some mood uh, uh, influencers and stimulants when, is a, when there's a happy uh, stimulant they will be happy they, when, there, when, there's a, when there's a sad stimulant they will be sad so that is normal function of dopamine if we talk about again the same function as of attention uh, along with that also uh, pleasure so the most important neuro neurotransmitter which is affected is these three along with that every other neurotransmitter is decreased like GABA and glutamate and acetylcholine all are decreased these are the most important one why because there's a mon monoamines they have one amine group in each of them and uh, the theory suggests that there's a monoamine deficiency theory which actually causes uh, depression it has been established not as much as that uh, we can say it's a law but it's just a theory and it has been provided in multiple literature reviews so along with that we have also risk factors which include family history about three times if a person has a family member who has already depression then uh, his risk of gaining or attaining that disease will be three times as of him uh, as, as of a normal person and this can be increased uh, depending upon the uh, proximity of the relationship with that person and of course uh, exposure to stresses the environmental factors are there along with biological and behavioral reasons can be there as well as learned help helplessness can be also there the presenting symptoms are like depressed mood and most of the day and anhedonia during most of the day then significant weight loss or even weight gain insomnia hypersomnia psychomotor agitation or retardation fatigue or loss of loss of energy and uh, nearly every day then feelings of worthlessness or guilt and diminished ability to concentrate and recurrent thoughts about death now the, the diagnosis is made upon a criterion that we need to have at least five of these for ab at least two weeks and nearly every other day or every day 
and one of those five should be either depressed mood for most of the day and or anhedonia during most of the day along with that you may have another one symptom at least one symptom other than that and if you have just one more or just two more a total of two or three we call it mild and when we have a, a, a more than four we have we call it moderate and when we have more than five we call it severe so this is the criteria along with that you should also see that the criterion B says that there should be a, a, a acknowledgeable and appreciable dysfunctional dysfunction uh, in one's individual social occupational uh, and interpersonal lives. Along with that, Criterion C says that this should not be attributable to any other medical condition or substance abuse. And Criterion D says that this should not be uh, having any uh, 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 attributable to any other mental disease like psychotic disorders. And Criterion E says that there should not be a, a, an accompaniment uh, of any manic or hypomanic episodes, to, right? Because that will actually uh, dissolve it from or dissociate it from the unipolar uh, category. The physical examination is usually within normal uh, limits, but you may find evidence of psychomotor retardation, such as stooped posture and slowing of movements and slowed speech. And you may also find evidence of cognitive impairment, such as decreased concentration and forgetfulness. That's why we need to order a complete uh, metabolic panel before diagnosing a patient with any psychiatric disorder and we uh, get, a, get, 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 a, get a result and reports of all the uh, biochemical markers in the body and in the case of depression usually uh, all of the hormones are uh, depressed usually like thyroid hormone TSH is decreased and estrogen is decreased but cortisol and your ADH is increased along with that all the neurotransmitters are decreased but the pro-inflammatory cytokines like interleukin-1, interleukin-6, uh, and the TNF-alpha, they are increased. So we, we can say that there is an infl inflammatory theory as well, inflammatory mechanism which uh, purport this disease. Now, uh, it may also include some psychotic features which actually uh, go towards a worse prognosis. And there may be atypical features as well like increased weight and appetite and sleep because usually in the melancholic depression, they're decreased. Weight is decreased, appetite is decreased, and sleep is decreased. But when there are more, along with that, when the patient has increased sensitivity to, uh, towards uh, rejection, rejection uh, hypersensitivity, uh, then we call it as atypical. Along with that, then the, when the patient has mood reactivity, that a person is presented with a happy stimulus and the patient responds to it appropriately, it is also called atypical. The treatment is that, that we first need to secure the safety of the patient and given that suicide is such a high risk, uh, we need to evaluate that the patient is either suitable as an outpatient uh, for, for an outpatient therapy or an inpatient therapy. They need to hospitalize him or not. And also, you uh, you, you can use uh, some uh, rating scales like GDS for geriatric population, and you can also use uh, Beck inventory. Uh, you can also uh, use some other for uh, like patient health questionnaire, uh, PHQ-9, to assess the severity of the disease and also the response to therapy. The therapy is divided into pharmacotherapy and non-pharmacotherapy. Uh, non-pharmacotherapy actually includes physical activity at the topmost, and physical activity increases the release of neurotransmitters like uh, your endorphins and uh, endocannabinoids, which increase and elate the mood. Also, it increases the body temperature, so your tensed muscles are relaxed. It also makes you feel happy. Uh, along with that, a diet control, the ha eating healthy like veggies and uh, fruits also increases it. Then uh, uh, you can also uh, have the last, as a last resort in uh, a non-pharmacological pharmacotherapy, which includes uh, like uh, sorry uh, psychotherapy, which includes two important uh, components like cognitive behavioral therapy or interpersonal approach. Uh, both require clinical skills uh, at, 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 at the expert level and also a very uh, intimate and very a trustworthy bond between the therapist and the patient. Now, 
Uh, then the second resort is pharmacotherapy at last, and in which we usually give antidepressants, as just, such, such as SSRIs, which actually inhibit the reuptake of serotonin at the synaptic cleft. And we can also, this is the first line treatment. Now, in second line treatment, you can give TCA, the tricyclic uh, antidepressants or monoamine oxidase inhibitors, and you can also give alpha-2 uh, antagonists or also some antipsychotics. Lastly, el electroconvulsive therapy, ECT, may be given if patient is suicidal or worried about side effects from medications uh, in which you actually uh, anesthetize the patient uh, generally and then you provide some brain waves, some stimulation to the brain. We do not know how this works, but it works in 50% of the patients and it has minimal to no side effects. And uh, some individual psychotherapy is uh, indicated also to help the patient deal with conflicts and sense of loss. And in cognitive therapy, which I talked about, you actually change the patient's distorted thoughts about self, future, and world, etc. The differentials, of course, you need to rule out medical disorders like hypothyroidism, Parkinson's disease, dementia, medications, pseudodementia, tumors, and CVAs. Actually, MI is a history of MI carries a risk for developing the depression as well. And other mental disorders like mood disorders, substance disorders, and grief as well. This is all that you need to know about major depressive disorder. The, please subscribe to the channel. That will help me a lot. Signing off.